Hello guys, in this video I would like to talk about collecting remote logs in the React Native. Uh, before I start working as a React Native developer, I was full stack developer and one of the first things you do when someone report issues to you, like from the users or whatever, you check logs on your server so this is the thing comes to my mind what what you do when people complain about bugs on the mobile like user have some wrong behavior or something maybe uh, goes wrong because users have different conditions than uh, you have when you do development and i did ask this question on Stack Overflow. This was a couple of years ago. And actually no one replied to me, which is, seems a bit weird. But I share what I found myself and this is uh, two services I found in the internet and actually I've tried both and both uh, works fine for simple collecting logs. They both uh, have some free plans. So it's easy to start, just add to your project, follow the install instructions and You can see how it's working. How what what actually I'm do how I'm using it. I just have helper function where I put all my errors which I catching and I put it to console log to check it in the console in the development process and also I send it to the service so if we check it's in the code it will look something like this you have some fetch query this is api wrapper for uh, magento api and all request if if there is some error catched it will report it to, to the service which is super helpful and I'm using such practice uh, several years already and it helps me a lot to fix the bugs reported or even don't report it I just check the logs I see some errors happens like uh, you trying to use function of undefined or something like this errors super helpful so i hope uh, you will check it or if you using some different approach please share in the comment i would like to hear about it maybe i will learn something new thank you see you in coming videos